Hi, and welcome to this Fornaf coffee break. My name is René Brummel. I'm a product specialist at Fornaf, and I will be your presenter today. As this coffee break is live, you can ask your questions via the GoToWebinar question window. We will answer them at the end of the coffee break. Today, we're going to set up direct printing of your Business Central reports. Many Business Central end users face challenges with printing their Business Central reports. The printers are, printers are installed on a dedicated print server and they need fine-grained control over what is printed where. For this, we have developed the Fornav Direct Print Service. There are other ways of direct printing. Direct print on your own computer, direct print to a network printer connected to an on-premise Business Central server. <coughs> In the next coffee break, we will discuss the usage and fine-tuning of all three types of direct print. For today, we will focus on setting up the direct print service. To demonstrate the setting up the direct printing, I'm going to use these steps. Prerequisites, what do I need to get going? In step two, I will install the direct print window service on my print server. In step three, I will set up the direct print service. In step four, I will set up the printers. Let's start with the first step. Today, I will be setting up direct printing in the Business Central Cloud Tenant with the Business Central 2021 Wave 2 release. I have installed the Fornav customizable report pack and I have executed the step-by-step -step wizard from the assisted setup to get started. Of course, everything I do today is also available on the Business Central on-premise environment. The first thing we need to do is install the Fornav direct print service on our print server. We can download the direct print client from the Fornav website. So let's go to the Fornav website where we have the download section where we can download the uh, the Fornav uh, installer. You can simply click download, click here to download the latest version of the Fornav installer, and that will and that will get you the installer that will install uh, the direct print services, but also the Fornav designer and converter. Of course, I've downloaded this before, so we don't have to wait for it. We can just run the executable. And of course, I need to accept the agreement first. And when I do that, I can choose what I want to install. Now you can do the full installation if you want to do development of Fornav reports. So you get the designer, the converter, the direct printer, and the add-ins. But in this case, all I want is the direct print service. So this will install the direct print service on my print server. The direct print client is a direct printing client that will install on an end user's computer which will enable the end user to print directly to a printer connected to their computer. That's something we will discuss in the next coffee break. So I will install the direct print service. Of course, I've installed this before, so we don't have to wait for it. I will cancel the installation and open the direct print user interface. Uh, the Fornav direct print service comes with a user interface where you can uh, configure and control everything. Uh, and it comes with a Windows service, uh, by default, the Fornav Direct Print will run as a Windows service, and uh, that will run in the background, of course. If you want to run it as the, if you want to run Fornav Direct Print as the logged in user, you would uncheck this, and it will run uh, as a as the logged in user. On a print server, obviously, you would keep this switched on. The environments we will set up in a minute, and in the list of print printers, we have all the printers that are currently connected to this particular. Uh, to this particular machine. The second step to set up direct printing is to configure the Fornav direct printing in Business Central. Typically, we need to tell Fornav where our server is and how to communicate with it. So first thing we need to do is open Business Central, the Business Central tenant where you want to use direct printing, and find the Fornav direct print setup. which you can find by simply searching for it. And in the Fornav Direct Print Service, uh, we need to set up the service keys. The service keys are contain the, uh, the keys that the service needs to communicate with Business Central and with the Direct Print client. To create one, we can open the security keys and create a key. And to get this key uh, installed in our Direct Print Service, we can simply download the configuration. And you can run this configuration on any computer that runs the Fornav direct print. So I'll open it and I will install my 
uh, Business Central direct print on my uh, on my Funaf direct print service. So I have my service, uh, my uh, environment, my tenant, and my authentication. That's all I need on the Fornav direct print service. If I go back to Business Central, it will first tell me that please delete the uh, the download you've just uh, you've just downloaded because it contains a security key. That's fine. That's uh, that's gone. Now I can check in the Fornav direct print setup under related. See if I have any connected printers. I don't yet, so I need to troubleshoot that. There's typically two reasons why you won't have the Fornav, uh, why you don't get to see the printers that are on your print service. The first one is because I may, I may need to reset the integration app and user, uh, which resets the active, uh, Azure Active Directory application, and I need to reopen it and grant consent. Granting consent will grant consent to the Fornap Direct Print Service to communicate with Business Central, which is fine. So I do that. Then I check if my connected printers are there. They're still not there. So the second place where uh, that you need to check after setting up Fornap Direct Print is to check if your service is actually running. So in the Fornap Direct Print uh, user interface under in, in settings, I can open the services and that will get me a list of Windows services. And in that Windows services list, I have my Fornap Direct Print service. And I can hit start. That will start the direct print service and go back to Business Central, find my connected printers. And you will notice that in Business Central, I now have the service, uh, which is my current laptop and the printers that are installed on my particular, uh, on my particular machine. Finally, we need to set up how our, we need to set up our printers in Business Central. Business Central needs to know which printers exist and how to communicate with them. So back to Business Central. In the Fornav Direct Print setup, we have the direct printers. And in the direct printers, we have a default printer, which is prints to your default machine, default printer on your, uh, on your local computer. And in here, I am going to add a server PDF. And I will select a printer from my local printers. I will select the Bullzip PDF printer and hit OK. Let's call this server PDF as well. The name and the, the direct printer name and description don't matter. They can be anything you like. Uh, in this case, for me, it's the uh, it's a server PDF printer. Once I have done this, I have now set up my printer in Business Central which means that I can print a report. So let's open my list of four and a half reports and just grab the first one in the list, which is the customer list. I will run it. And now on the printers, I can select the server PDF printer uh, that I have created for myself. And yes, we can automate this. So it will select the printer automatically and print without any further user, user uh, actions. But we'll discuss that next week uh, when we do the fine tuning of the uh, of the direct printing. For now, select the printer, server PDF, and hit print. And if I check my uh, my printer queue, I've paused the printer queue just to make sure that you actually see this running, because otherwise this would run in the back in the background. You won't get any uh, any actual user um, user interaction because this is running as a Windows Windows service, but you will notice that the Fornav customer list has just been printed from Business Central. Let me cancel this. So I have set up my printer now to see what is actually going on. So go back to the Fornav direct print setup. And there is another feature in the Fornav Direct Print setup, which is the print queue. And the print queue will tell you exactly what has been printed and when and by who. So I have the Fornav customer list that's finished. It has a report ID and it was printed by me, not surprisingly. And it was sent to the direct printer server PDF, uh, which connects to the Bullseye PDF printer which in turn sent it to this particular service. And 
the print job is finished. If you want to restart the print job, you can simply hit restart. That will set the status back to ready. And if I go back to my printer queue, it will give me another print job. Let's cancel this one as well. If you want to see what's been printed, you can download. And you simply get the PDF that was sent to the printer. And if you want to delete this, of course, you can delete it. You don't want to keep this in Business Central indefinitely. You can simply hit delete. We advise that once the Fornap Direct Printing has been set up completely and tested, you select the Delete Finished Jobs button, so the finished jobs will be deleted automatically. Finally, we have the Fornaf Service Endpoint ID and Endpoint Settings. Uh, those are debugging, set, debugging uh, fields, and uh, when you report any issues about, about direct printing to Fornaf, uh, to the uh, to the support desk, they might they may ask you to add information in the service endpoint ID and the endpoint settings in order to debug the service. So let's recap what we just did. The first thing we did was to install the direct print service on our print server. Once we inst once we had installed that, we were able to able to configure the direct print service in Business Central. Finally, we have set up the direct printers and the printer selection. When we printed, the print job was sent directly to my printer service. In our next webinar, we will explain how to use and administer Fornaf direct printing. Thank you for listening to me so far. Uh, we don't have any questions, so let me uh, wrap up this coffee break. If you want to know more about Fornaf or if you want to download the Fornaf designer, converter or direct print plugins, please visit our website. If you want to install Fornav in Business Central Cloud, please visit the Microsoft App Source. You can watch more videos about Fornav on our YouTube channel. If you have any questions about Fornav, please email them to support at fornav.com. For a full list of upcoming and recorded coffee breaks, please visit fornav.com slash coffee break. Thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.